Thank you, Hilda. Buenas tardes. It's a real pleasure to be here today on behalf of the Ford Motor Company Fund, the philanthropic arm of Ford Motor Company. This is my first time attending the LULAC National Women's Conference, and I hope that it's the first of many. Ford was founded more than a century ago to do one thing, make people's lives better. When Henry Ford started our company, he wasn't just pursuing profits. He was pursuing a greater purpose. He wanted to make personal transportation affordable so that everyone can enjoy the freedom of mobility. At the Ford Fund, we are proud of our heritage and are committed to finding innovative ways to improve people's lives around the world. It has been very exciting for me to witness the many programs that the Ford Fund has developed to strengthen communities across the country and across the world. I'm especially excited about the work that we are doing to support opportunities for women, such as our partnership with Girls Who Code, the Girl Scouts, the National Alliance for Women in Media, and of course, LULAC. Last week, I had the honor to join a group of original Rosie the Riveters in a special honor flight from Detroit to Washington, DC. For those of you who don't know, during World War II, thousands of women from across the US and from diverse backgrounds worked at Ford's Willow Run bomber plant and elsewhere in Detroit as part of the arsenal of democracy. These amazing women did not only help us win the war, but they also helped open the door for women in the workforce. Their we can do it attitude inspired generations of women and we are immensely proud of their accomplishments. As one of the Rosies I met on the trip, Refugio, Cookie, Garza said, we did it. And now it's time for your generation to do it too. By the way, Refugio just celebrated her 97th birthday and she's still giving her granddaughter a run for her money. Another outstanding collaboration has been our 35 year partnership with LULAC. Working together, we have created and expanding the Ford Driving Dreams grants program, which is now in its seventh year. To date, our Ford Driving Dreams grants program has impacted close to 1,500 students and empowered 50 LULAC councils across the country to develop local programs that equip students with the skills and inspiration they need to graduate from high school on time. I would like to especially highlight the Anaheim LULAC Council number 2848, who collaborated with the Anaheim School Independent Learning Center to address the dropout rate at that school. Through the Ford Driving Dreams grants, they have launched a program where students are recruited to return to school and earn credits toward high school graduation through non-traditional classroom experiences and field trips. Some of those students and council representatives are here today, and I'd like to ask them to please stand up so that they can be recognized, and let's give them a big hand of applause. Thank you for helping to prepare our youth for success in life. Our team at Ford believes that we can continue to cultivate the many talents and dreams of future generations, and we are excited to continue to partner with LULAC on this endeavor. Thank you, and please enjoy your lunch. Buen provecho. Buenas tardes. It is really a, two, a true pleasure to be here with you today at the 2016 LULAC National Conference. The Coca-Cola Company has a long and proud history with LULAC. In fact, we've been partners for more than 30 years. And much like LULAC, we at Coca-Cola believe in taking steps to advance our Latino community, especially women. We believe that regardless of where you are in the world, women are the pillars of our community. For this reason, we've made a global commitment to enable the economic empowerment of women entrepreneurs, five million women entrepreneurs, by the year 2020. With the help of partners like LULAC and many of you in this room, we'll, we're, we're uh, well on our way to meeting that goal. I have no doubt in my mind that we'll get there and that we'll even surpass that number by the year 2020. But I firmly believe that the work doesn't stop there. There's so much more that we have to do. And in standing here and looking out at this room today, I'm reminded of a couple of different things. The first is that each of you 
deserves a round of applause for being here. I know that it's Saturday, and I know that there's other things that you should be, you could be doing. I think that our success as Latinas, regardless of whether it's big or small, and regardless of when it happens in our lives, is ultimately an important step in moving our community forward, and an important step in bringing up the generations that will come after us. The second thing is that there's strength in numbers, right? If you look around at this room and you look next, you know, to the, next to the person who's sitting next to you, regardless of whether it's a Latina or Latino or anyone else, there is strength in numbers. Our vote matters, our voice matters. Um, and so with that, I want to uh, take a moment to introduce our next speaker, who I think is a great example of when our vote matters and why it's important for each one of us to get out there and to cast uh, our vote. So uh, she is a passionate leader and she's dedicated her life and career to the San Fernando Valley. In 2013, she became the first Latina in over 25 years to be elected to the Los Angeles City Council. As the only woman currently sitting on City Council, she's taken it upon herself to bring issues affecting women to City Hall. She's a strong advocate for women in leadership and government positions and a strong supporter of young girls as they shape their lives to become strong leaders. Her Ready for Women initiative, which prepares young women for elected office, has already begun to bridge the gap of women in office. Representing the 6th District of Los Angeles, please join me in welcoming Councilwoman Nuri Martinez to the podium. <laughs> 